Hi, my name is Eva. I'm the director of Blackout, which is screening at the film series tonight. Blackout is set in Guinea, West Africa, and basically 80% of the population of Guinea doesn't have access to electricity, or almost 80%. And school children, in order to study for their exams, have to find places where they can actually find light. So they, some of them walk for hours to go to the car park at the international airport, to petrol stations, roundabouts, where there's light. So they basically sit there for hours and study. So it's about those children and their dreams for a better future and how they try to achieve that, set against the backdrop of the country, which is also going through change in the sense that they had their first democratically elected president. And there's a lot of hope that the country might actually finally turn around and actually things might change for the rest of the population. It was a real honor to be invited to come here. Also in terms of, of the other films actually screening as part of the film series to actually be selected, one of them. And I love screening films at universities because I think normally what you do get is a really lively conversation afterwards. It's just interesting as a teacher to see what kids were making, how kids were studying. Doing exam keys is hundreds. Once we actually got them, then they were really happy to talk about what matters to them. And one of the areas in which I think our society at large happens to be quite deficient is in the area of visual literacy. We indeed in our curricular offering are deficient in this area also and so I've just recently approved a, a minor in film studies that will become a major, the uh, minor ought to be seen as an effort to have something programmatically in place as soon as possible. I'm currently developing a fiction feature, so kind of making a slight detour from a documentary. Um, working on a film called Let the Northern Lights Erase Your Name, which I've just, um, is based on a novel by an American writer, Van de la Vida. And we've just gone through the whole Sundance Lab, Institute Lab program. So we went to the screenwriter's lab, we went to the director's lab to develop it. And currently, yeah, writing, working on a new draft and hopefully making that if things work out next year. 